Welcome to the game there guys, Brian here, the three topics game here to share with you another one of my top five list videos to share with you guys today. For this particular video, I'll be going over my personal top five favorite movie based video games. Now, just like video game movies, over the years, some of them have been given a really bad rap as being known as just cheap cash-ins to cash in on a name or a movie that gets recently released in order to get the most money out of them. However, there have been a number of exceptions over the decades of games that not only were great adaptions of the films they were based off of, but they were great games by themselves. And I thought it would be a really cool idea to go over my personal top five that I consider to actually be some of the best that actually did a great job of standing on their own as great games, as well as being faithful adaptions of the films they were based. So if you do happen to enjoy this video by the end, I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and make sure to press the subscribe button so you can keep track of me and all my future projects that I will be uploading for the rest of the month of March. So starting off with number five on my list is going to be a game that's going to surprise some people, but number five on my list will have to go to Spider-Man 2. Now, don't get me wrong. Spider-Man 2 the movie is without question my all-time favorite Spider-Man movie of all time and the game that is based off of it is by itself an innovative game that really did set the boundaries of what Spider-Man games could be and a number of the game elements that were in that game are still being used to this day so that just lets you know just how influential this game is and while it is a fun game no question. I do think that some of the story elements are a bit lacking and some of the voice acting performances do kind of hold it back. Now don't get me wrong, if the game is good enough, it can overcome a lot of those things and this game certainly does do that. But when compared to the other four games on this list, I just think that they did a much better job of actually having great performances as well as a good story that actually followed the movies that it was based off of. Don't get me wrong, again, Spider-Man 2 the video game, excellent game and trust me this is certainly a game that anyone should go back and go out and try to play if you can because i know it's like extremely retro by now but again great game couple of flaws that just hold it back but i think it's worthy of at least holding the number five spot on my list so jumping right into number four now number four on my list is going to have to go to a game that i actually spoke about in one of my more recent top five videos and it's going to have to go to x-men aldrin's wolverine now, this is the only example on this particular list in which the video game is vastly superior than the film that it's actually based off of, but to its core, the reason why I enjoy this game so much is quite simply because it is a God of War clone. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a bunch of God of War clones, but I think that this, along with a number of other games that try to copy the God of War model, actually does a number of things to actually give it its own identity in terms of having a number of RPG elements, actually changing the story up a little bit so it's a little bit more unique, having some pretty impressive combat elements, throwing in some pretty cool boss fights, having some interesting music, and the costume changes. I mean, trust me, if you're not too fond of the Hugh Jackman look that is all throughout that film, you could just change up and give him his classic Wolverine costume, go around and take out some enemies in some seriously bloody and brutal fashions. This is a truly fun hack and slash game that anyone could easily pick up and just start killing things and having a good time doing it, which is why even to this day, X-Men Origins Wolverine is still one of the best games out there, not just as a comic book video game, but a game that's based off of a really crappy film, which is why I think it is well worthy of holding the number four spot on my list. And number three on my list is going to have to go to The Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Now, Return of the King in terms of the film itself is without question my favorite Lord of the Rings film to date and probably will hold that title for probably the rest of my life. And this game does a fantastic job of just adding that story from the film or a number of key elements or key moments in those films and making them great hack and slash levels. And that's really all Lord of the Rings Return of the King is. Now they did the same thing with the Two Towers before a number of years before this game came out, but this game just took everything that game did and just enhanced it. It had better visuals, it actually brought the cast from the film to do voiceovers for the characters, some of the hack and slash elements were great, it had a number of RPG elements, you could level up your characters, and then once you were done beating these levels, you could actually play through any level you want of any character you want. So this game had an amazing amount of replayability, and there was even some elements of this game story that weren't even in the theatrical cut of the film, which was a prime reason why I actually went out and looked up to find the extended cut. If I hadn't played this game, I wouldn't have known about some of these scenes. So I not only thank this game for not only being a great hack and slash game for an awesome film, but also enhancing my knowledge and wanting to seek more from the film itself. So 
that's why I think it's worthy of holding a number three spot on my list. Now number two on my list is gonna have to go to Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Now if I remember correctly, this game actually did kind of come out around the time that the film was released in theaters back in 2005. And just like Lord of the Rings Return of the King, this too is an action-adventure hack-and-slash game. Now for the most part, you'll be playing as both Anakin and Obi-Wan as they play through the events of the films, as you see Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of out there when Order 66 kicks off and then needing to take on Anakin, and then you gradually see Anakin's fall to the dark side and see him actually take part in the attack on the Jedi Temple. Now what I really like about this game is not only that it's a great hack and slash, but it actually does give you a little bit more in-depth information in terms of events that were happening that you didn't even see in the film. And another thing is that this game actually has kind of a semi fighting mechanic. When you're not out there just hacking and slashing, you actually can take part in these cool little duels that kind of play out as they would be in a standard fighting game, which wasn't really expected when this first game came out. And there are even a number of special missions that you can actually take part in that uh, allows you to play as certain characters or certain events that don't even take part in the actual film itself. I mean, you even have an opportunity to play as old Obi-Wan Kenobi fighting against Darth Vader in A New Hope. So I think having not only all of those extras not only makes this a game worth playing, but one that really needs to be seeked out. And this game's story even has an alternative ending of what would have happened had Anakin actually won the duel of uh, the duel on Mustafar. And uh, that definitely opens up a number of possibilities. So I think the fact that not only did this game do a good job of filling in some information that the film didn't even go into, which, you know, me being a fan of Revenge of the Sith and it being not only my favorite Star Wars film, but my favorite uh, film, one of my all-time favorite films in general, I kind of knew a number of these elements, but to have it actually played out in video game format was like an extra plus for me, which is why to this day, it is probably easily a top five favorite Star Wars game of all time, at least in my eyes. So that's why I enjoy it so much and why it's worthy of the number two spot on my list. Number one, and what I consider to be the greatest movie-based video game of all time is an instant classic for anyone that had an N64 during the 90s. So that should give you a hint right there that number one on my list has to go to GoldenEye. Not only is GoldenEye the greatest movie-based video game, but GoldenEye in general is my overall favorite James Bond film of all time, and it was actually the first James Bond film I ever saw. Now, this game, in terms of the actual story itself, does a pretty solid job of actually following events from the films themselves. It makes them pretty fun to play through, but this, as great as the story was, as good as the campaign was, it was the four-player multiplayer that was simply iconic that I see a number of people even talk about today. I mean, this really changed the game in terms of co-op, or I should say multiplayer, in terms of not being able to play online. I mean, how many times would you get a gang of friends together and just come home and just start killing each other playing as these all these iconic James Bond characters in all these familiar locations? I mean, it was just pure chaos, pure fun, and pure epicness, which is why even to this day, GoldenEye is still talked about as not just being one of the greatest, if not the greatest, movie-based video game, but probably being one of the all-time most iconic shooters of all time, which is why I think it is well-deserving of the number one spot on my list. So now that you guys know what my top five favorite are in this category, which are your top favorite? Share your list with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time. Yeah.